Good morning, friends. It's time for an update on Lollapalooza 2018. For those of you who don't know what Lollapalooza is, we're having a little meetup October 26th through the 28th at Eisenhower State Park in North Texas. We were going to call it the North Texas Fall Meetup, but Ryan over at A Little Dirt Never Hurt suggested Lollapalooza and uh, the comment section went wild and I guess that's what we're going to call it now. So I just want to give you a little info about what's going to be going on, how this is going to work, and what the campground looks like. So the meetup area is going to be in the Cedar Hollow Group trailer area, but a lot of folks have let me know that they have reserved sites in other loops of the campground for whatever reason. Some people are tent campers and you can't have tents in the group area. Other people like full hookups, so I thought I'd show you around to the other loops so you can kind of get an idea of what Eisenhower State Park looks like. So right now I am in the Armadillo Loop and this is an electric and water loop and I am in site 43. For the most part the sites are fairly level and there's electric like I said at each one and a picnic table and a little um, lantern hook. This is the armadillo loop. It's uh, real shaded, lots of trees. So you'll need some levelers on some of these sites, but some of them are pretty level. So this is the Bow to Arc area, and it seems like it's got the bigger rigs in it. I think this is where the Phoenix Ramblers have uh, reserved a spot. Really nice level pull-throughs. I like it. Let's see if there's any waterfront sites. I can kind of see the water through the trees. But I still wouldn't consider it waterfront. Not a lot of folks like that. Yep, look at the size of these rigs. Plenty of room no matter what you're driving up here. Okay, so these do have full hookups. These have sewer and everything up here. Very cool. Very nice. So I'm at the group area. I thought I'd check it out a little bit more. Um, yeah, these sites are tight, you guys, if you'll notice. <laughs> like right here, this is site number 116 and 117. So that little white stripe is what uh, divides those two sites. So it basically is just a parking lot. <laughs> I called and spoke to Tara. She's the park manager last week. And she said that it's no problem. We can double up. You can fit two vans on one spot if you want to. But yeah, it's going to be tight. So if you guys have the bigger rigs with slide outs and stuff, think about that when you pull in and try to figure out a way you can do it and still share the other side with somebody else. From what I understand, the event has sold out, so it should be a pretty full house. So back there in the back, you see the little red boxes? Those are the ones that are not for rent. So again, I talked to Tara about those sites, and she said they're just not really rentable because they don't have a way to put it in the computer to rent them. She said that there's no problem with us utilizing the spots, so we can park there. Um, people who don't need electric are welcome to stay in one of those. She said that's no problem at all. So I don't know how it's going to go when we all check in, if they're going to assign us sites or if it's just a free-for-all, but I guess we'll all find out together on the weekend of the 26th of October. Another question that I've gotten from a few people concerns pets. Yes, this is a pet friendly park. Um, you just must keep them on a leash at all times and clean up after them, just like you know anywhere else. So uh, don't hesitate to bring your dog or cat or um, whatever animal you might have as long as you can keep them on a leash and clean up after them. No alligators, please. <laughs> so there are a couple other developments. I asked my good friend Blind Views to design a logo for our Lollapalooza 2018. Check out what he drew, guys. Little colored pencil drawing by Blind Views. I 
I think it's awesome. So I started researching companies that might do t-shirts for us in case anybody wanted to order a t-shirt. Well, most of the ones that I found, most of the ones that other YouTubers use, they are set up so that you make a profit off of the shirts. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to just offer shirts to anybody who might want one at the lowest cost possible. So I ended up at um, Vistaprint, which I have ordered shirts and business cards and things like that from them before, and I find the quality is just fine. They have a lot of different options as far as how, how heavy of a weight you want your shirt and things like that. So I got on Vistaprint and designed a shirt using Blind View's logo, and it actually came out pretty good. It looks all right. Um, really the only color it works on is white though, so if you do want to order a shirt, you can order them any color you want, but I do recommend white because it just seems to look better. I ordered a prototype, but it's not here yet. As soon as it is, I will definitely show it to you and update you. So the problem with going through Vistaprint is that people can't go on the site themselves and just order it. It's kind of like it's in my cart, so I have to order it. So the only way I figured out how to do this is that if you want a t-shirt, then you can just send me the money. Um, it's about 10 bucks a shirt if we go through Vistaprint. That's versus like 22 if you go through Bonfire or one of those. So I thought it was a better idea. So anyway, I want to give you as much time as possible to get one ordered if you want one. But I am going to have to cut off orders. I need to have the money before the 10th of October in order to get the shirts in time for the event. Um, I know that doesn't give you much ordering time, but I'm a little late to the game on getting this whole idea going. Um, yeah, this is my first event, so I'm just kind of winging it. So if you do want to order one, you can hop over to Vistaprint and check out what kind of t-shirts they have. I like the lighter weight, soft cotton. Um, some people like the heavier weight. You know, they have different cuts. They have tank tops, sweatshirts, anything you want. So you can just kind of look, and, but the price that I gave you is just for a regular t-shirt like this one. Um, the more you order, the cheaper they are, but they start at $10 and then go down from there. So it's going to be about 10 bucks a shirt, including shipping and everything. And then I will bring them all to the event with me. So if you do want one, send $10 to Lost on Land again, P.O. Box 14237. That's in Arlington, Texas, 76094. So definitely no pressure. I mean, you're definitely not obligated to get a t-shirt. I just wanted to offer it to folks who might want one and to get some um, original artwork from Blind Views on your t-shirt. I just think it's a cool emblem. I think he did just perfect. He captured it exactly the way I wanted him to. Thanks, Blind Views. You're the best. Yeah, when you send your check, make sure that you put your name. Um, if you have a channel name, add that too, just so I'll know who you are. And make sure you let me know what size. I have found that Vistaprint runs a little bit on the small side, so keep that in mind. Um, yeah. Oh, there's a deer running by, you guys. It's romping. Wow, that car didn't even slow down. I'm really glad that deer didn't jump out in front of them. That's so cool. So on the t-shirts, even if you are not able to come to the event, if for some reason you still want a t-shirt, um, I would definitely be happy to mail you one. Just go ahead and, like I said, send the money to my P.O. box and add a few bucks for shipping and make sure you give me a good address to mail it to and I will be happy to do that for you. I just noticed this grill in the shape of Texas. Oh, isn't that cute? As far as planned activities, I do have a couple of things planned for us. Um, most of the time we're just going to be hanging out, getting to know each other, doing our own thing, doing whatever we want. But um, I do want to have a potluck meal Saturday night about 6 o'clock at the group area. So if you want to think of something that you can bring to share with the group, that would be awesome. Even if you don't have anything, that's okay too. Please come. And also, guys, for those of you who may not be into the camping thing, but you want to come out and meet us anyway, um, you can definitely come out, do the day use fee. It's five bucks there at the state park, and come on down and hang out with us that way too. So yeah, this is going to be a fun time for all. One other thing I kind of wanted to try and organize 
is let's do a book and movie swap. If you have some books or movies that you've enjoyed and you think somebody else might, bring it along and we'll have a table where we can put those and people can, um, you know, take some, leave some, however they want to do it. Uh, the only thing with that, though, is at the end of the meetup, anything that somebody didn't take, please take back home with you. Now, I know they had a free stuff um, area at RTR, and I was amazed at all the junk people brought, you know, broken things that don't work anymore. Um, I don't want to do that. Like I said, just let's just keep it to movies and books and maybe other, you know, camping gear that is actually useful and in working condition that you might not need anymore, but you think somebody else could use. I think that would be a great thing to do. I am really excited about this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see who all shows up. I think it's going to be a great group. So yeah, definitely stay tuned and um, I'm sure that you'll see a few videos come out from this event from a few of the different YouTubers that are going to be here. Can't wait to see who all shows up. All right, thanks so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. Love the comments below and thanks so much for watching. Y'all take care and stay lost, my friends.